Yo, 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 YouTube, what it do? I'm your host, Giorgio, and today I'm synthesizing Just kidding. I'm going to synthesize 5 methoxytryptamine for melatonin. Melatonin supplements often contain unspecified quantities of additional ingredients. In order to achieve a pure synthesis of the 5-MeO-tryptamine, the melatonin must first be extracted from the commercially available precursors. First, the solubility of the individual chemicals were recorded and an ideal solvent was determined. To begin the experiment, 45 supplement pellets, each containing 10 mg of melatonin, were pulverized using a mortar and pestle. The powder was then transferred into an Erlenmeyer flask, along with 45 milliliters of NN dimethylformamide, also known as DMF. The solution was then stirred for an hour to allow the organically soluble ingredients to dissolve in the DMF, and it was then filtered via vacuum filtration with a Buchner funnel, leaving a foaming yellow liquid. The dried and extracted side products were discarded in organic waste, and the yellow solution was transferred to another Erlenmeyer flask in order to repeat filtration. This time, an excess of DMF was used, and the filtered solution was much more clear. With the solution transferred to a round bottom flask, the DMF was then evaporated using a rotary evaporator, exposing the crude melatonin. The crude mixture was then scraped using an oblong plastic apparatus, but it was to no avail. A minimal amount of hot water was then added to the round bottom flask, stirred, and then placed in a refrigerator overnight in order to facilitate recrystallization and reveal the pure melatonin product. To begin the synthesis of 5-methoxytryptamine, the melatonin crystals were acquired via vacuum filtration. It was determined that roughly 480 milligrams of product was obtained, equating to a 106% yield, likely due to water weight from an ill-completed filtration process and a bit of the organically miscible starting materials. Using a round bottom flask, the free base melatonin was suspended in 43.4 milliliters of an isobutanol solvent. Three hundred twenty-two milligrams of sodium hydroxide pellets were crushed and added to the solution, which was then refluxed for two hours at 130 degrees Celsius. During this process, a base catalyzed hydrolysis is occurring, beginning with nucleophilic addition of the hydroxide ion to the carbonyl group of the secondary amine. The conjugate base of the amine is kicked off from the tetrahedral intermediate as electrons from the oxygen push down to the central carbon, breaking the bond between it and the nitrogen. The nucleophilic nitrogen of the deacylated melatonin then attacks the carboxyl hydrogen, deprotonating the carboxylic acid, leaving a resonance stabilized carboxylate ion no longer susceptible to further nucleophilic attack, and the 5-MeO tryptamine product. The reaction mixture is then cooled, and an additional quantity of 5.6 milliliters of H2O is added. The aqueous phase contains sodium acetate and excess sodium hydroxide. To separate, the solution is acidified to pH 2 with 8 milliliters of 32% hydrochloric acid. After leaving the solution overnight, it had turned a pale blue, 
and I suspected that my product was ruined due to the fact that I failed to read the word separate in the procedure and made the rudimentary mistake of adding one-tenth the specified amount of water. In order to determine the identity of the product, the phases were separated and the organic layer prepped for a TLC analysis. In the meantime, the entire procedure was replicated. After the reflux to synthesize the second batch of tryptamine, 60 milliliters of water was added to the solution and the layers were separated using a separatory funnel. To compare the product identities, a silica-based TLC plate was spotted by both the tainted blue run as well as the results of the adjusted procedure and then set in a chamber dipped with a 50-50 ethyl acetate hexane solvent. Using the second batch, the organic phase containing the tryptamine is then acidified to pH 2 with 2 milliliters of 32% hydrochloric acid. The solution is then concentrated via rotavap to expose the crude product. A final recrystallization process is achieved by dissolving the crude in 96% ethanol and evaporating, yielding a measly 97 milligrams of 5-methoxytryptamine.